Chanya, Sahu Nityananda, Sri Advaita Gadana, Sri Vasadiko, Bhakta Brinda. Krishna mantra, there are ten offenses. And because we commit one or two or even ten offenses, we don't achieve the perfection of chanting. So, in order to become free of offenses, we chant this mantra that we have been chanting. It is called the Panchatattva Mahamantra. 
Unlike the Hare Krishna mantra, the Panchatattva does not consider anyone's offenses. So by chanting this Panchatattva Maha Mantra, before chanting Hare Krishna, then we become quickly cleansed of our offenses. And then we can chant Hare Krishna in ecstasy. Jaya Si Krishna Jai.
श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण जय हरे कृष्ण अभिषेक एंड वी आर इंस्टॉलिंग राधा एंड कृष्ण हियर इन दिस हाउस so we'll do some more kirtan because kirtan is the safest way to worship the lord then we will i will chant the brahma sanhita prayers and all you have to know is one line repeat it for 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 govinda govinda adi purusham adi purusham tamaham bhajami tamaham all right so let's do some hari krishna here done and i recommend don't look at me vamos a hacer un poco de Look at Radha and Krishna. Because they look a lot better than I do. Hare <laughs> Krishna.
question is asked by people. Why do we worship idols? We don't worship idols. We worship God. Idols is money. Movie stars, singers, politicians, that's idol worship. This worshiping of the Murti, the form of the Lord, is prescribed in the Vedic scriptures. Even Krishna himself in the Srimad Bhagavatam instructs his devotee Uddhava that one must worship his form. The reason we worship the form of the Lord God is spiritual but we are material we don't have the capacity to see God in his actual form at the present time to see God as he is you have to purify the senses when the senses are completely purified then you can see God so how to get to that stage deity worship is the authorized process to purify the senses also the deity form impresses upon us that God has his form he's not impersonal in the Bible it says man is made out of the image and likeness of God so just as you have a head two arms two legs God has the same form as you see Krishna and Radha the transcendental couple so to help us come to the stage of actually seeing God we worship the form of God this question was asked by Arjuna in the Bhagavad Gita who knows what chapter I mentioned it at Rakesh's house. What chapter? You need to study your Bhagavad Gita. Chapter 12. In the beginning of chapter 12. Arjuna asks Krishna. Should I worship you impersonally? or personally Krishna immediately replied in my opinion you should worship my personal form if you worship me impersonally you will simply be troubled and it will take you millions of lifetimes to ultimately reach the conclusion please repeat Vasudeva Sarvam Iti that is the ultimate conclusion so do not have any doubts or worries or fears or hesitation worship the personal form of God 
adore a la forma personal de Dios. And the ultimate form of God la última forma de Dios is this Radha Krishna. Son estos Radha y Krishna. So now, Entonces ahora, while you are all taking turns bathing, mientras ustedes van a tomar turnos para bañar a la edad, and you should be careful, tienen que ser muy cuidadosos, the lotus should not touch the deity. It should be some distance away. We will now chant the Brahma Sanghita prayers. These prayers are the best prayers to chant on an occasion like this. The Brahma Sanghita is even higher than the Srimad Bhagavatam. And the Srimad Bhagavatam is the highest of all scriptures. So what was that line I asked you to, to memorize? Govinda Adi Purusham Jamaha Chintamani Prakada Sadma Sukal Praviksha Laksha Viteshu Suravir Abhipadayantam Lakshmi Sahasra Shatasam Brahma Sevya Manam Govinda Madhi Try to do it together and try to do it with a little enthusiasm. Dainam Vanam Jamada Vinda Dalaya Taksham Barha Vatangsam Asitam Buddha Sundarangham Kandara Pakoti Kamaniya Vishesha Shobam Madi Purusham Jamaham Jami Getting better. I have one student, she has memorized these prayers, and she chants it every day. She just got married, and she just got initiated by His Holiness Bhakti Charu Swami. Alola Chandra Kala Sadvana Maya Vanshi Ratnanga Dambranaya Kemi Kala Vilasam Shyamam Trivanga Lalitam Niyata Prakasham Govinda Adi Purusham Tamam Vajami Angani Yasya Sakalendriya Vritti Manti Pasyanti Panti Kalayanti Charam Chaganti Ananda Chinmaya Sadujvala Vigrahasya Advaitam Achuta Manadi Manam Tarupam Adyam Purana Purusham Navayoga Namcha Vede Shudulabam Adulabam Atma Bhakta Going to Adi Purusham Tamam Bajami Fantastu Kosti Shatavat Sada Sampuragam Yo Vayora Tapi Manasomuni Pungabanam So yes, ya papa da semya bechin kya tate Goin bani kushan Jamaan bajami Eko kya saura chai dam jagad anda bodim Ya chak kya asti jagad anda chaya yadanta Andanta rasta paramanu chayanta rastam Goin bani kushan Jamaan bajami here in this verse, Lord Brahma is saying, Krishna, who is known as Govinda, lives within your heart and actually in every atom. Therefore, his name is Vasudeva, which means all pervasive. All pervasive, everywhere. Yadvava vavita diyo manu jastataiva 
This is my favorite of all the Brahma Sanghita verses. Here Lord Brahma says, what is the qualification to see God? Your eyes have to be smeared with a special ointment. And that ointment is love of God. When you have pure love for God, then you will see Shyama Sundar. That is the ultimate form of Krishna. And he has inconceivable qualities. We do not worship God who is an old man with a beard. We worship God who is ever youthful. Govindavadipurusham <laughs> In this verse, Lord Brahma summarizes the cosmic manifestation. At the bottom is the material universe, known as Devi Dam, controlled by Durga. You Indians know very well about Durga Mata. So the material world is her domain. Above her is the abode of her consort, Lord Shiva. Maheshdam. And then above that, Vaikuntha, the spiritual world, the abode of Narayan. 
in his innumerable forms. Rama, Nasringa, Vamana, Sridhar, Rishikesha. And then above that, Krishna Loka, which is divided into three sections. Mathura, Dwaraka, and then top of the top of the topmost, Goloka Vrindavan And where do you find there? Who do you find there? Radha, not just Krishna, Radha Krishna. That is their abode. And what do they do every day? What do they do every day? Dance, dance rasa dance. And they never get tired. Here we get tired. Uh, let's do something different. But not there. They do the same dance every day. And every day it's fresh and new. Alright, let's continue. Shirang yata dati bikara vishesha yogat Sanjaya jena hitata rita asti hetro Yaksham bhutam apitata samupaiti karyat Govindamani purusham tamaham bhajami So here Lord Brahma instructs us How to understand Lord Shiva he compares Lord Shiva, <coughs> explaining that Lord Shiva is like yogurt, and Lord Vishnu is like milk. Yogurt is nothing but milk, but it has been transformed. You cannot use milk in the same way as you do yogurt. Because something has been added to change the milk to yogurt. So, Lord Vishnu is compared to milk, and Lord Shiva is compared to yogurt. That is how Lord Brahma explains the position of Mahesh. Now in this verse, he explains the difference between Krishna and all the Narayan expansions. So if I had a birthday cake, there would be 65 candles. So the first candle that's lit, that's Krishna. Now you take that first candle and you use that flame to light the other 64 candles. All the candles have equal power, yes? But still there was one original candle. So Krishna is the original candle and all the Narayan expansions Ram, uh, uh, the Sringa, Vamana, all the, they're like the other candles. Uh, let's continue. Yakara Narnava Jale Bajatisma Yoga Nidramananda Jagadanda Saroma Kupa Adhara Shaktam Avalamya Paramsvamurtim here he teaches us about Lord Mahavishnu. Lord Mahavishnu is in the material realm. From his sweat, 
from his breathing all the material universes are generated and when he inhales all the material universes enter his body so you cannot imagine his time scale because the material universe goes on for trillions of years and then it's annihilated and he takes his next breath it's generated again very good Yasya eka nishpa sita kama mata valamya jivan diloma vilaja jagadanda nata vishnur mahansa yasya kala vishesha govinda mari purusha tamaham tajami basvan yatashma sakaleshu nijeshu teja sviyam kiyat prakatayat yapitat vadatra Brahmaya Esha Jagadanda Vidana Karta Govinda Mani Purusham Tamaham Bajami Here in this verse, Brahma describes himself. He says that he gets his power from Krishna. He's empowered to create the universe. And he gives the example of a gem. That when the sun reflects on a gem, then it gives some different colors and lights. So Brahma says, Krishna is the sun that empowers me. He's not going to take credit for what he does. Yat pada pallava yugam vinidhaya kumba Vande pranama samaye sagana di raja Vignan vihantu malam asya jagatrayasya Govinda vani purusham Kamaham vajami You're gonna like this one. Here Lord Brahma tells us that Ganesh he holds Krishna's lotus feet. He has that tumuli coming from his head. Tumuli. And he holds Govinda's feet on his head. And that is why Ganesh is empowered to destroy all the obstacles in the material world. So if you're going to worship Ganesh, please understand he is getting his power from Govinda. He's not independent. All right, good. Agnir Mahi Gagna Mambu Maraddu Shascha Kalas Tatatma Manasiti Jagatrayani Yasmat Bhavanti Bhavanti Vishanti Yamcha Govinda Vani Purusham Tamaham Bajami Yachchakshu Esha Savita Sakala Grahanam Raja Samasta Sura Murti Ashesha Teja Yasyagya Yabramati Samrita Kala Chakra Govinda Mani Purusham Tamaham Bajami Now the sun is very, very powerful in the sky, yes? But the sun is getting its power from this Krishna. Dharamal Tapapa Nichaya Sutayas Tapasmi Brahma Dikita Vatakava Dayas Jajiva Yadda Tamatra Vibhava Prakata Prabhava Govinda Jani Purusham Jamaham Vajami Yastvindra Gopa Matavendra Mahoksva Karma Vandana Rupa Vallabhajanam Aptanoti 
karmani nirda hati kinju japakti bhajam govindavani purusham tamaham bhajami This is a very important verse. Este es un verso muy importante. This verse says este verso dice that whether you're Indra que sea que seas Indra or a germ o una bacteria Everyone is under the law of karma. But if you surrender to Krishna, your karma is greatly, greatly, greatly reduced. By your karma, you were supposed to get your head chopped off. But instead, your wife slaps you. <laughs> Not a bad deal, huh? <coughs> so this is what it means to surrender to Krishna. You just get a token of what you were supposed to get. Therefore, the intelligent person surrenders to Krishna. That's why I surrender to Krishna. Because my karma, we, we, we malo. Yam kroda kama sahaja pranaya dibiti batsal yamoho guru gaura vasevya babai sanjin yatasya sadrishim tanu apur ete govinda mani purusham Here's the end. Shri Yakanda Kanda Parama Purusha Kalpataravo Duruma Bhumis Chintamani Ganamai Doyam Amritam Kataganam Nadyam Gamanam Apibangshi Priya Sakti Chidanandam Jyoti Parama Pita Dasvatyam Apicha Sayatra Shirat Bhishwabhati Surabhidyas Chasu Mahan Ni me sharda kyo ba vrajiti na hitra pi samaya Vajay sweta dvi pam jadaham Iha golo kam itiyam Vindan tiste santa shiti Virala charaya katipaye So here is a description of the kingdom of God. Entonces aquí esta la descripción del reino de Dios. They don't really walk. Ellos no caminan. They dance. Ellos bailan. They don't really talk. They sing. Because the abode of Krishna is the abode of pure love. The kingdom of God, the abode of Krishna, is that place where the people, the animals, the trees, the plants, the cushions, everything is a person. So you can imagine, if this was the spiritual world, I'd be sitting on someone. <laughs> because in Krishna's abode, everything is personal. Here, this is dead wood. That's the material world. Animate and inanimate objects. But in the spiritual world, everything is animate. There are trees known as Kalpa Vriksha. Here in the material world, you get mango from mango tree, apple from apple tree, banana from banana tree. But in Krishna's abode, you go to any tree. Tree, give me banana. There's your banana. Okay. Now give me pomegranate. There's the pomegranate. They're called kalpa vrikshas. Whatever your desire, you get. But, Srinam Radha, what is the only desire of the residents of Krishna Loka? 
Are they asking for pomegranates and what are they asking for? Service to Krishna. Yes, more service to Krishna. <coughs> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. 